so what what I did was I just I just laid out a little display that makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on. And like I, I put a steering wheel up there and then calibrated the steering wheel so it matches what the direction is that he's trying to turn the wheel and the amount of angle that he's using to steer to steer with. So that's what the pink wheel is. This top line is the actual data from the, the um, steering angle sensor. And then on the bottom we have the laser right height in light blue and green is the shock position on the driver's side. Dark blue is the shock position on the passenger side. So you see each of these little divots down in the shock on the passenger side. Well that's when it's put enough weight on the right front tire to actually have you know, something touching the ground. Whenever it's it's topped out, it means it's got the tire off the ground, or it's at least got the tires off the ground and the weight off enough that it's not compressing the spring at all, the suspension. So you can still have the tire touching the ground, but not have any weight on it that's compressing the spring. Um, so that kind of can, and then with the, with the laser in the front, you can tell what the nose is doing. So you have some idea when the front's on the ground and look at where the wheel is but it touches the tire on the ground for sure and have an idea of what's going on with directionally with the car. Green thing over here, throttle position, and this is wheelie bar load. Now I'm just playing it at one-tenth speed so you can kind of look at everything as it's going along. And this, so this is the run that he made the other night where it tried to turn left and he had to shut it off early, the last run we made. So he's turning the wheel to the right, trying to keep it off the center line, right? Here's the bar load. So eventually it gets far enough out that it can't get on the wheelie bar anymore, so it's not got that going on. But it's got the nose up, so it's going to be really hard for him to steer because it's got almost no weight on the nose. And then keeping in mind that some of these inputs, like if you go play the video and you look at that left turn input that he just put in and now he's going back right, that's the one that basically sets the car off towards the left side. So I, th I think what's going on is that, you know, with the toe all fucked up, the car is steering weird directions as the tires touch the ground differently. I mean, you see, it's like the driver's side probably never touched the ground. Maybe here it did. But, but basically, the driver's side never touches the ground, only the passenger side does. And because the toe's fucked up, he's got to turn the wheel a weird way to make it go straight. But that's going to be different than what he does to hold it straight. So he's going to naturally go back centered again. And every time it touches the right front on the ground, it's going to try to turn left. Then he's going to have to counter steer right to correct it. Then if it's going too much right, then obviously he goes back left. But so there's a left turn there, and then it's like, that gets it going the wrong way, and he starts to correct it. It's picking the nose up, so he for sure can't fucking steer it, because the nose is coming up. And then the nose starts coming down as he backs off the throttle, drops the nose back on the ground, and he's trying to turn right again to get it away from the center line. Nobody, nobody has a chance with the, that toe in that we had. Uh, there's no fucking way. It's towed in so much. Yes. So much it, that even going straight, it's trying to turn both directions. So if you lift one wheel off the ground, it's obviously going to dart the opposite way because the other wheel's yes. pointed towards that wheel. 